Welcome back! In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate using MP3 Tag Express how to trim artist and album from title and file name and other tags, as well as uh, annoying special characters that people put into the tags and the file name as well. And so to do that, uh, as you can see here, we've got a real, real mess going on with all these square brackets and round brackets and underscores and dashes and all this stuff. So it's real mess. So to do each of these individually would take quite a while. I'm going to simply select all of them. I'm going to go over to this icon called Trim. And the first thing I want to do is I want to trim uh, the special character. So I'll click on that. And I want to trim them in the Artist tag, the Album tag, the Title tag, and the File name. All at the same time. And keep in mind that these, these dialog windows, you can move these anywhere, and the next time you open them up, they'll be in the same place. And so with that said, I'm going to want to get rid of the square brackets. And there's some round brackets happening. I'm going to get rid of those. And at the same time, I want to replace uh, an underscore with a space. So I'll just put a space in the box, and I'm going to click OK and all the underscores are gone, all the square brackets are gone, and all the round brackets are gone. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to trim the artist from the album. Because as you can see, that's going on here. Um, we got to watch though, because if we trim artist from album in this case, it will remove the album. But I do want to do all these at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select them all. I'm going to go over to trim and I want to trim the artist from uh, I want to trim it from the album but I can also trim it from title, file name, or I can do all of them at once. Let's do all of them at once. And as you can see the artist name is gone from the album it's gone from the title in this case it's also gone entirely from the album but we can fix that and so the next thing I want to get rid of is I want to trim the album uh, from the title and the file name. In this case, it's I'm going to do them all at the same time again. And now as you can see, now we're down to just the names of the tracks for the file name and also for the title, except in the case of this one right here. And again, it's because we don't have an album. However, I can trim artist from all, and it gets rid of it from there as well. So now what we're down to is just the very basic tags. It looks so much cleaner, and it only took a couple minutes to do that. Now, if I want to put the artist back into the album, there's a couple of different ways I can do that. I can copy the artist tag. And I can select these and I can go over to Album and pop it in there. Or the other way I can do it is I can simply paste it to the album. And that's it. It's done. Now the other thing this does as well is if you want to get rid of these track numbers, some people like them, some don't like them, uh, you can simply go Select All and Trim Track Number from Track Title or from File Name or from both. Let's do both. Gone. All the track numbers are gone. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save the changes. That concludes this tutorial. In my next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can custom replace phrases or series of characters. Thank you for watching.